Come closer! Come closer, you're too far out! Come here! Come here! Come on! A little bit more! A little bit more! Hey! That's better! An EV with 218 miles to a charge? Glowing fish that tells us the environment is sick? Portable solar for third world countries? And more on this week's Green Tech Weekly! Yeah. show number 32. Let's go through all the motions of a news show without all the pesky seriousness. Sound good? All right. Yeah. In our first story, we have an EV by the Japanese consortium SimDrive that has a range of 218 miles to a charge. Don't get all excited on getting one. SimDrive only wants to provide the highest level of electric vehicle technology and information, meaning that they think it up with, with the looks and the way it's made, but then they put it out there for other companies to use the concept to build on. In other words, they're thinkers, not doers. Right. So sadly, this isn't a car in our near future. SimDrive is simply showing what they call the bleeding edge of EV technology. Hey, didn't Tesla get 313 miles of the charge in November 2009? Yep, and don't forget the Citroen Berlingo hitting 621 miles to a charge as well. So what you're saying is SimDrive isn't doing anything that's not already happening. Yep, but I think the car is cute, so... So now we're basing our stories on the cute factor? Yes, yes we are. Hey. Oh, bother. As the eco hero, I encourage the use of reusable water bottles instead of buying bottled water. A lot of people that I say this to don't understand why I'm saying it. I don't understand why you're saying it! <laughs> That's why I like this new water bottle by the Seattle-based company called Artifact that tracks how much you're saving the planet as you use it. The stainless steel 999 bottle has a built-in rubber dial that helps you keep count of how many times you refill it. Then if you want to know what you are actually saving with all those clicks, well, there's an app for that. I should have guessed. The app will show you silly trivia like how far Kit from Knight Rider can turbo boost or how much oil from all those saved water bottles would allow your car to travel. The bottle is currently on Kickstarter. And at the time of this recording is about halfway to its $99,999 goal. <laughs> With an end date of June 22nd. So if you want one of these, be sure to head over there and kick some money their way. Kick In our next story, the University of Tokyo wants to bring back the sailing ship for cargo. Didn't we do a story on a sailing ship last year that used kites to help pull it? Yes. So what's so special about this one? The big difference is the nine 164 foot tall sails that actually do most of the work. Whoa. This new type of foldable sail is a lot more technical than the ones back in the 1400s. With today's weather prediction and GPS navigation, they are able to safely use these very large sails. At this time, one 64 by 164 foot sail will cost you 2.5 million, so don't expect everybody to jump on board yet. But studies show that if the ship used these giants, they would save an average of 30% of their fuel cost a year, all while cutting down on immense amounts of air pollution too. No word on when or if this concept will be out though. In this fourth story, we have a zebrafish that will glow if the water is dirty. What's the what? Researchers at the University of Exeter have created a transgenic zebrafish which produces highly targeted green fluorescent signals when exposed to environmental estrogens. Again, what the what? Like I said before, it'll light up if the water is dirty. Hey. The project was created to test how estrogens in the water would affect the wildlife by using the natural bioluminescence from common jellyfish and something called estrogen responsive elements, they're able to see this. In the end, they are finding that the fish are affected a lot more than they previously thought in almost all systems, including re the reproductive system. They say that this is a powerful new way to test toxins in vertebrates. Not my vertebrate! Stop it! <laughs> In our last story, we have something that has the potential to help provide safe light for 1.5 billion people in third world countries who would otherwise be using kerosene. You are watching this on a computer that is most likely currently lit by an electric light. At the same time, many people in third world countries are risking poisonous fumes and fire to light their homes. That's why this handy solar light has been created. The Belgium company Osun yes. has, has, been, has come out with a nomad. The light has three different levels and can run for six hours on the brightest or 35 hours on the dimmest. 
It runs on a lithium ion battery and is made from recycled ABS plastic. The company will be selling these for 125 US dollars. Wait a minute. What? I thought you said these were for third world countries. Yeah. So how is someone in a third world country going to be able to pay 125 US dollars to buy one of these? That's what I was getting to next. Okay, proceed. The company will also be distributing the lamps to those in areas in need at a significantly reduced price or through local governments. That makes better sense. Good, I'm glad I could clear that up for you. I want to thank everyone for watching again this week and want to let you all know that next week we are taking off so Scott can go to the San Francisco Maker Fair while I work on our new studio called Ted Forward. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons wherever they are around this window and on, a, on our other sites. And as always, remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green. Rethink what green? A. Board again. On the board again. Oh, you have to clean the board the tape to two. Two, yes, please. So I don't mess up. And today's Saturday. Yes, today's Saturday. All day till midnight and then they change it on me again. I can never keep up with the days like that. They need to figure out a different way to do this. They would just not change. You know what really bugs me is the fact that morning always happens. It does. It does. It does. It does. I know. And night needs to stop coming so late. Sometimes I need night early so I can get some sleep. You're so right. It's just terrible. <laughs>